guys, I'm going to do a video showing how to activate uh, mods in multiplayer. So that way you and your buddies can play with some of these cool trucks that, that they have out right now. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is basically you want to go to Steam. You want to go to your spin tires. You want to make sure you're in legacy version, legacy mode, okay? Uh, the way to do that is right click on your spin tires, go to properties. You're going to go to betas. You're going to make sure that this drop down says legacy. Okay, as long as it says legacy, you're good to go. If not, go ahead, select legacy, and it'll do a little bit of a download or update or whatnot. And then you'll be able to go ahead and do what I'm doing here. So next step would be to go to the internet and you need to go to this web page actually. I'll put the web page in the description and you need to get yourself this program, JSGME. It's a mod enabler. You're going to go ahead and click that link. It's going to bring you here. You're going to go ahead and download it. It's a zip file. Okay. Once you get that zip file, you're going to go ahead and extract it, extract it anywhere you want. I extracted it to my desktop, make it easy for myself. All right. Next thing you're going to do, um, you're going to want to actually get those files from the extraction. So you're going to go get all those files. Then you're going to go to your spin tires folder. Okay. And you're going to grab all these and move it over to your spin tires folder. Great. Now you're ready to go there. Okay. You got your, your mod enabler in there. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and put a mod in. So what we'll do is we are going to go grab a mod, any mod you want, preferably a mod you know that works or that you've used before. And we're going to go ahead and open up the mods folder there and the spin tires. We're going to go ahead and, well, actually, I'm going to copy it. I don't want to move it. <laughs> so let's copy that. We'll paste that in there. All right, we're good to go in there. All right, good to go, good to go. And just to kind of show you what that looks like real fast. So now you're in the spin tires folder. That was in your mods folder. Now, just so you can see what the mod enabler does, if you were to double click on the mod enabler, it automatically knows what mod you put in that folder. And it's as easy as enabling it. I'm not going to enable it now. I'll do that in a moment. I'll show you what we need to do. All right. So now that we've got JSGME in spin tires, you've confirmed your spin tires is in legacy version. You've got the mod you chose in your mods folder now in spin tires. Now all there is left to do is to start the game. So we're going to go ahead and start the game. Now you will have to make sure that your buddies or your friends have the same exact mod as you. If they don't have the same mod as you, this is not going to work out so well. Your game will crash. So make sure they have the exact same mod. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to play. You can see I'm already on multiplayer. I haven't had any mods installed yet. I didn't install anything yet. I just put that mod enabler in the folder, the spin tires folder. And then I also put the mod that I wanted to use, the truck, in the mod folder. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and, and keep it multiplayer. You're going to go friends only game. Okay. What this does is this makes sure that nobody else starts to join your game that doesn't have your mod, because if they join your game and they don't have your mod, it will crash the game. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and create a lobby. And I would normally go ahead and invite my friends right here. I'd go ahead and do invite friends and, you know, any of my friends that are on right now, got a couple friends that are on, um, I'd invite them to go ahead and play with me. However, I don't think they have this mod, this truck. Maybe they do, but, you know, I'd have to discuss that with them first, apparently. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the coast because the mod I have replaces the UAZ, and I know the UAZ is on there. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to Alt-Tab out. I'm going to go to my Spin Tires folder where my JSGME is. I'm going to open that up. I am going to go and select the mod I want to activate. Remember again, activate only the ones your friends are going to be activating. Go ahead and put that on in. So what you did, you just activated it there. Now this means it's active. It's ready to go. You're going to go ahead and minimize that. Minimize everything. Heck, why not? Go ahead and get back into the game here. So I'm still in the game. Was in the lobby the whole time. Just went out real fast to activate the mod, okay? And that mod enabler. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And you're going to see my truck is there. And if your buddy had the same mod and loaded in your game with you, he would have the same vehicle as well. So that's how you get mods in multiplayer. I know I didn't show it with a friend or a buddy right now, but I promise it definitely works if they have the same mod, okay? One thing I did notice about the mods, me and my buddy noticed, me and Mr. Ixalite, is that you cannot use the add-ons. As soon as you start using the add-ons, for some reason, it wants to crash the game. So you usually have to leave the trucks that you, you, you put in and play with your buddies exactly how they are. You kind of have to leave them stock. You can't really make any changes on them. Um, oh, wait, wait. No, you can change the wheels. I'm sorry. You can change the wheels. We were successful in changing the wheels. But, all right, guys. That's how you uh, do multiplayer with mods, and that's how you get the game to work. Hopefully you guys like that. If you haven't uh, already subscribed, please subscribe and like. Thank you.